So this weekend went from this. I'm dying. I'm dying. To this. Today we go to our first NASCAR race, the Great American Daytona 300. Suave Men has a partnership with NASCAR, so they invited us out, and we had the best day ever. We basically had access to the whole thing, the racetracks, one-on-one -on -one with the athletes. We definitely hung out with someone pretty epic. On Friday, we had a flight to Florida, and then we had to be there for one day, and then we're gonna fly home. So we had one day to hang out in Daytona, Florida, and it started off in an airport. That took a long time, but here I am with 20 minutes left until boarding the flight. But here's the two issues. One, I'm getting sick quickly. In the last 20 minutes, I am significantly sicker. I'm sweating a lot. Also, Sarah Dietschy might not make it. She's on the flight, but she left something at the place, and she had an hour, basically, that's how long it takes to go there and back. So she might miss the flight. So here we are, clutch time, on the way to Florida. Flight is at three and Sarah is nowhere to be found. So I'm in line now waiting. And did I mention that I'm dying? Oh my god, you made it. I almost like lost it in the car. <laughs> Just like that, we're dropped off at the wrong hotel. But that one is right there. I am just dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. As you can imagine, at this point, I was in so much pain and I was terrified. I thought the whole next day, this whole thing that I flew across the country for wasn't gonna happen because I was sick. But luckily, it was different in the morning. And before I have time to film anything cool, I, I feel- I everywhere. Did I see it, hopefully? Maybe. I feel a lot better, but I still need to move in slow motion because I feel like if I turn around really quickly, I would throw up automatically. Okay. Take it slow. Well, your Insta wife is gonna be able to help you today. Oh, thanks, wife head. Boogity, boogity, boogity. You made All it. Right. <laughs> I legit didn't know a level of this brightness existed. I know. I Florida, can't see. what's up? <laughs> Now I thought it'd be a fun parallel to talk about skateboarding contests in Florida while going to a NASCAR competition in Florida. It's very bright here. It's also been a while since I've been in Florida. I've actually had to come down here for several reasons in the past, one being Tampa Am, which is the most popular skateboarding amateur contest. Now the thing with races like this is that there's a definite winner. You cross the line first, you are the winner. When it comes to something like skate contests, which I do want to talk a little bit about, the winner is played on favorites. Okay, it was just way too loud to talk. The whole point of the contest series, right now, Tampa Pro is happening down in Florida, and there's a lot of people going, and people have been asking me why I don't go to those contests. Really, they're just very anxiety-inducing, and most of the people who go to contests don't really care about the winners, the losers, and all that. They just go for a great time, and that's the truth. But when it comes to picking the winners at contests, it's so subjective nowadays that I think a lot of people have sort of strayed away from competing in contests. That's actually why I pulled away at first. I still enjoy them. I think they're really, really fun, and the atmosphere, the environment is so fun. But since they're rigged, it's just not the other night I mentioned this too, where Kashad, a friend of mine, skates contests a lot, and sometimes he has to dumb down his skating beforehand so that the judges have a, sm a, a lower expectation of what he can do so that when he does it during the contest, it blows their mind. And that to me is silly, because I feel like you shouldn't judge someone based on their, you should judge everyone on a whole, not how well someone does compared to themselves, I think. So although I didn't go to Florida for Tampa like a normal skateboarder, NASCAR? Sarah, where are we? We are gonna go check out the garages where all the cars are. I'm pretty stoked. Right. 
The coolest thing about working with a company like Suave Men is that you do get access to these behind the scenes things and they randomly had a booth there because they're very involved with NASCAR as well where we got to play games and we got to shoot basketball where Sarah beat me which is kind of embarrassing but it was cool. Oh, Contest, contest. Hey, from the person who actually played basketball, me and you can beat right now. Wait, how many shots are we doing? Okay, I do. First one at five. How dare you? <laughs> the other cool thing about working with a hair product company is that I get free products. Implement hairstyling. Oh, oh, yavul. I like you. Thanks, Bayface. <laughs> ah. the, the only reason why I'm with him is because of his beautiful hair. <laughs> Thank you, Suave Men's. Look at the <laughs> lusciousness of it. Yeah, that's how we did it. Uh, yeah. But I definitely want to shout out this right here. I've been using it like crazy, and I actually keep it in my camera bag because it's portable, and you can take it through an airport, so I can finally have something that I can just use whenever, especially after I have hat hair all day. I go in the restroom, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. and then, uh, you, of course, those fingers pop up out of nowhere. They make my head look good, and bada bing, bada boom. So. Shout outs. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's so essential. Whoa. This is so insane. It feels like an end of the world scenario. We're basically, people are like, let's play on the track because there's nobody else alive. That's what it feels like. We are going to the pit. The pit. It's already so loud. Yeah, we're going to be hanging out with the cars. We've been talking about how loud it is already. It's about to get all the track. We're literally going to have to like put True, I'm sorry, human beings. I used to skate local contests all the time and I love them. And when I started getting into bigger contests like the Dam Ams and the Tampa Ams, they were fun, except that I would be so nervous that I would feel sick for the entire day before and that day. So literally for my health, I feel like I had to stop. The fun part about those contests is meeting and hanging out with people in your industry, in your circuit and getting to know them. But I just didn't like contests. I just didn't. And the truth is at that contest specifically, I 100% didn't deserve to get second place. And the the guy who won didn't deserve to win. The guy who got third place actually should have been the winner. And there was this guy, and there was a guy who got sixth place who should have gotten second place. Sounds weird. And the guy who got first should have gotten third. Anyways, as cool as that is for me, obviously very unfair to people who train to do well at these contests. And I think that also turned me off. The fact that I did well was something that upset me about how the contest worked. And as flattering as preferential treatment is to some people, it means that somebody suffered Somebody got the poop into the stick if somebody else got the gold end. Anyways, back to the NASCAR race. I think that was it. No, our guy's ahead. What? Our guy's ahead. Our guy's ahead? He's literally second place. Oh, we're actually trying to figure out if we won or not right now. Because our dude is killing it. I said we. I included myself in his hard work. We're going to finish the race uh, in the sweet. Yeah, exactly. We gotta get away from the, the track is too, it's too chaotic. If someone wins, we're gonna get trampled. All right, our guy's in second place. Number seven. Number seven. 10 laps to go, is that right? Nine to go. Oh, snizzle. And that takes us to this moment in time at the airport about to head back 
to California, feeling a little bit sick still, but so thankful that I felt so much better the next day that I could actually run around because if I felt like I did on Friday, I would have died. Getting to work with brands like Suave and do these cool things that I never would do on my own time means a lot and it feels so good and it feels like I'm living a dream. Literally right now at this moment of time, I'm just taking, taking a step back and realizing that I'm in a very lucky and humbling position and I'm very thankful for it. Very thankful for you guys watching these videos and enjoying and watching me over the years and hopefully it's been a fun transformation. It's been a fun trip and uh, stay tuned for more videos. I do them every single weekday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are the vlogs and then Tuesday and Thursday are Planet Melee videos, all skateboarding. So here is to more adventures to come and us doing everything we can to build this community as big as possible and as influential as possible and you guys have been an amazing, amazing contribution to everything that's happening and I wanna thank you so much. I already did that, but anyways, I'll see you next time. Love you so much, progress daily and keep killing it. <coughs> Sorry, keep killing it. Oh,